A few uh, updates on our building, a renovation of the church. So as many of you know, we had kind of delay, a delay this week, but there was some asbestos that was discovered. That was removed. So tomorrow is probably going to be one of the busiest days that we've had since this project began back in January. According to the schedule from Ellis Construction, there will be wood flooring, tile, carpet delivered, and they will begin to install. Lighting fixtures will be installed. Uh, some final audio work will be happening. There'll be painting and railings will be delivered and maybe installed at some point this week. There will be some outdoor landscaping and painting and probably five or six other things, Doug, that I'm not mentioning or that I don't. There's an exit sign that needs to be removed. So lots of things will be happening. The workers, as they've said, will be literally falling all over themselves, but hopefully not literally because there will be so much happening that they'll want to be very careful and patient with one another. Of course, another reality of our project is um, money to pay for the project. Those who participated in our gatherings uh, last spring where we introduced the reimagining plan, remember that we indicated that from the previous capital campaign and from other donations, we had about 900 some thousand dollars. But we, and we knew there would need to be a catch-up campaign at some point to collect the remaining funds. What we didn't know then was that the bishop was also conspiring in La Crosse to establish a diocesan capital campaign. And that campaign actually will serve us very well in that it gives us the opportunity to collect those, those the remaining funds that we need for the project. Hopefully by this point, everyone has received a brochure similar to this. Have people seen this, parishioners? You've kind of gotten this in the mail. And so if you've had a chance to look through that, and if you haven't, I'd encourage you to. If you look through it, you get a sense of the campaign, uh, the, the purposes for the campaign, where the money will be going. What's important for us to realize is that of that it is a diocesan campaign, a diocesan and parish campaign. 65% of the funds that we contribute will stay here in the parish. And so of, those six, of that 65%, which is 905, I'm, I'm sorry, our, our ultimate goal is $905,000. But of that, 588,000 stay in the parish to fund uh, the reimagining renovation, which is 325,000, and then um, 131,000 for relief of some debt that we've had for a long time. So we'll get that taken care of. And then also 131,000, which will be invested in the St. Anne Endowment. And so the interest from that uh, helps to support throughout every year. We'll, get, we'll draw from that and be able to support programming, staff salaries, things such as that. So it's kind of an investment in the future of the parish. There's a, in, the worship, in the worship aid, as well as in the brochure, there's a note from Bishop Callahan. In the brochure, there's also a, a letter of explanation from myself. So I'd encourage you to take some time to look at that. What we want you to do now is begin to think about your pledge towards the campaign. It's a five-year campaign. And so this isn't matter, a matter of, of writing out a check today, but to think about how can we make a significant sacrificial contribution to this effort over the next five years. So there might be a contribution now, but, but that we would make contributions of a significant amount total over those five years. So, so to begin thinking now um, how we, each of us, will have a different approach to that or a different ability to contribute, how we can support that campaign. Also, what we ask now is that there might be a few of you or some of you here in the parish who might be willing to volunteer to help share the news of the campaign with other parishioners. There are cards in the chairs, but also in the far corner, far end of the gathering space. Uh, there will be some regional orientation here, actually, at 6.30, I believe, on Wednesday, uh, that the campaign coordinators will be offering. And so we're asking folks to just um, be willing to connect, contact, communicate with other parishioners, sharing news about the campaign. There is a video for the campaign. It will be playing in the gathering space. They wanted us to show it to you now, and I'm not going to do that, but you can watch the video on your own. It will also be included in emails going forward. It was included in the email parishioners received with this weekend's link for Mass as well. And so you'll have plenty of opportunities to see that video in our emails as well as at our website and the diocesan website. 
So the main things today are to become familiar with the campaign, begin to consider our pledge, our contribution to the campaign, to consider the need for volunteers to share news of the campaign, and maybe at some point in the next few days to watch the campaign video. Okay?